just change the subject yeah. before it gets sensitive. <laughs> Okay, so we've got lots on our- oh my god, Nico, you're in your underwear. <laughs> Today we've got lots of errands to run. We are gonna start off with a new grocery store that um, I believe Nico found. How did you find this place? Oh, it's quite quite a popular uh, place in uh, in the town like Mississauga. So we're, we're just gonna just gonna go. It's quite a do popular place. Groceries. We're gonna do some groceries, and then from there we have a few other errands like going to the Dollarama. Nico wants to get some Christmas cards. We also have to get some gift wrap. Um, I also need to go grab. Um, I don't need to go grab it, but it's it was Nico's birthday this month, so we want to get his birthday gift from Sephora, aka my birthday gift. And then from there, we what also are gonna go to Indigo. I need I need skincare. Yeah. Yeah, I need skincare. I'm starting to get a little bit of wrinkly. Wrink I'm starting to look like a dry raisin. What? Yeah. First up in our errands, we are going to go to Starsky. This is um, an Eastern European supermarket. Really, the goal is to try to find um, what we call blinis. They're like these salted little fluffy pancakes. And we're also going to get some salmon eggs and um, smoked salmon to pair with the blinis and a little bit of lemon juice. Typically, we eat this during the Christmas holidays. Every single year, we've celebrated with Nico's family in the past in France, kind of like a tradition. And so this year, because we're spending our Christmas holidays in Toronto, we thought to try to find them here just because you know, we want to keep the tradition alive. It's just been part of my family tradition for a long time. And I think in France, it's it's also something that people consume in general. Yeah. They're so good. And I feel like it's so difficult to find here in Toronto. I remember last Christmas, we went all across town trying to find these blinis. And they were like, people were aggressive in the superstores. Like they were... You know, there, yeah. I think there was only one pack there left. Any there left. were barely yeah. any left. So I think that this is quite common. We're about a week away from Christmas. We want to stock up on that. A little bit of a risk here because we're going to a different supermarket than we've gone to in the past. Um, if you live in Toronto, the one that we used to go to was called Yummies. Yummies Supermarket. Is, it, is that right? I'm not sure. The only opportunities and then I feel it's interesting seeing life through his eyes sometimes because being raised and born and raised here um, I feel like I don't you kind of just get used to it yeah you take it for granted come to Toronto people it's people. great here. they're not people they're friends friends I'll be waiting you want for 2023 what do I want um, okay, I should reframe that because it's not like what do I want, but manifesting what do you want to bring? What do you want to attract into this, into your life? I in mean, I feel like health, wealth, good relationships, you. I think for me, it's like not tangible things that yeah. we should be asking for. It's more of like a mentality. For me, it's like yeah, being more like present mindset. or like a mindset. Like, Last year, I really focused, my, my my goal was to have a little bit more of like a work-life balance. Okay, and can you achieve that goal? Yeah, I yeah. do. I do think I did because I feel like, um, well, I'm not gonna go too much into work, but I, I do feel like I, when I shut off the computer at the end of the day, I would be a lot more present and happy. That's true. Don't you feel that? I was a lot happier last year. And- Did you this year and despite things like you know didn't go as fully as planned a month ago it all worked out the way it's supposed to for this upcoming year yes i do want to maintain that balance but another part of what i want to explore more is like being a little bit more scared and getting out of my comfort zone or having had the opportunity in san francisco and turning that down and realizing like it wasn't just a job opportunity that i was chasing but rather a lifestyle of getting out of this cookie cutter life that we live here 
I think that is what I'm gravitating towards. Yeah. Why are you smiling at me? No, because you said cookie cutter, and now I'm thinking about chocolate chip cookies. <laughs> I think the reason why I started to vlog is because it's like, I mean, I feel like we always kind of did this in our spare time anyways, like traveling and talking we to the camera. I mean, I was looking back at my old laptop that I found from what, like it's an old, old MacBook Pro. And I guess I used to essentially vlog on my own anyways, but I never uploaded anything. It was more of like my own diaries to myself. And it made me realize how therapeutic that was. Obviously pressing upload is a whole other beast because now you're sharing your life with the public but my goal is to really like not think so much about what other people think something that i really need to get used to is vlogging alone in public grocery store and spent a fortune and now we're gonna go to the Dollarama and LCBO. LCBO to pick up some wine for next week's Christmas dinner and the Dollarama to go get some of the um, holiday cards. <laughs> Just little chocolates, you know? Okay guys, here's an update. So we, I think it's like 5 p.m. right now. We spent about an hour in the grocery store. It was a little overwhelming because it was our first time going there. We spent way too much money for a lot of items that we did not need. But then again, we're gonna discover a lot of like new food we've never tried. Yeah, because I feel like I've been making a lot of the same recipes. I just haven't been as inspired in the kitchen lately. So this will force me to make new recipes. Then we went to LCBO to get some Lombrusco for um, my uh, yeah. for my aunt and just to have some like extra bottles stored up in the cabinets in case there's last minute events or you know dinners that I mean not like that ever really happens but if yeah, that does happen and we get invited somewhere then we have something backed up. We don't we don't need to go out. Yeah. And then I got some gift bags for all the gifts. And we were gonna go to Sephora and Indigo, but we are just so tired and it's like late now. Yeah. I don't even know if it's still open. Let's so I think drop we're gonna everything we have first, yeah. Oh, you still wanna do that right now? Let's see. Oh Let's I see. can't. No, I'm ready to like yeah. do just you have a little snack, chill, a bit? chill at home a little yeah. bit. You know when you go to like a normal like North American grocery store? You just do your stuff, you just run your errands, and then you go, right? Yeah. But there, somehow, I don't know, some people just were open to, like, chit-chatting and... Did you initiate the conversations, or was it... Well, there was a lot of, like, looks at what I was purchasing. So, then I was looking back at the person, <laughs> and that person would just start a conversation with me. You know what? It's really true. I feel like a lot of people were judging what I had in my grocery cart. No, but not like in a negative way. Not in a I negative way, just, like, but like curious. wanted to initiate conversation. I've yeah. never really had that happen. Like people yeah. are just like, oh, it's a big grocery shopping day today. Like yeah. things like that and it doesn't happen. Uh, uh, there was a, a guy uh, from Albany and uh, at first he was looking at me from far distance. So then I look back, I'm like, what's, what's wrong with this guy, you know? And then he's like, what do you want? And then I'm like, what do you mean, what do I want? It's like, what do you want? And then I'm like, pierogies. <laughs> and then he wasn't working at the grocery store, but then he helped me finding like some pierogies basically. So that was quite, uh, yeah. I was wondering what was going yeah. on because every single time I like somehow, and, and that was another thing. I lost you so many times in that store. It was like, I you were right beside me. And then two seconds later, ha other side of the store. And every single time I found you, you were with a new friend. I'm happy yeah. you had fun. Yeah, it was fun. It kind of reminded me of when we were like in Washington, right? Like Washington? Washington, people were so friendly in Washington, D.C. North America, everyone is your best friend. You know? Like some people, they're like, oh, my mom is my best friend. Oh, my husband is my best friend. Yeah. But in, in France, you have one best friend. So you get to choose. So who, which one but is it? But it's you like, know? okay, so that's, so I think you, America, you take, you take like it you so literal. You have a group But of you take it friends. so literal. 
Yeah. Like when people say best friend, it's like they mean that someone that you're so close to, you can open up, you know, it's very comfortable. Like it's yeah. kind of like I think it's a, a different feeling. concept. Different yeah. concept. Yeah. So what is tonight? What? <laughs> what? It'd be a feast. Usually like You know what this reminds me of? Sorry, I cut you off because I don't know where you were going with that. I have no clue where that story was gonna go. Clean cut. Plan for the World Cup, baby! Tomorrow we wake up early first, then we go to the bar. So we are in the finals. Of the World Cup, yeah. Of the World Cup, and we're playing against Argentina. Argentina. It's gonna be a good game. know what it is so can't yet be excited because I'm excited for all of it that's truth the salmon eggs this is all the stuff that we bought just putting away our groceries now I'm curious what these will taste like so these ones I thought were really interesting they're called gingerbread pretzels and chocolate, and I'm going to bring these ones for next weekend to my aunt's. Hopefully they're good. Hopefully they're not too, too sweet. And then for a snack right now, got some falafel and dip. So we're gonna just eat this before dinner. And these called Jaffa cakes. I mean, it's interesting because in France they have something called Pims, which is like one of Nico's favorite snacks as well growing up. Um, so I don't know if they're gonna be the same, we'll see. Nico will be the judge of that. But this is with um, black currant. So Pims doesn't have black currant as a flavor, right? No. No, it doesn't exist. So this one should be interesting. Do we need to heat these up? Just heat and serve. Yeah, we're supposed to heat these up. Oh. Pretty good. It's pretty good. These are the mini pancakes that I was talking about, but they're sugar pancakes and they're not Russian pancakes or blinis. So it says to just put them in the microwave for about 10 seconds and they're good to go. Let's try them. So this is our dinner tonight. We have some salad with some tomatoes, microgreens and cucumbers. We've got the um, little pancakes. Um, well, they're not the blinis, but these are the makeshift pancakes that we found and then over here we have smoked salmon the salmon eggs lots of food for tonight <laughs> 